everyone has that vision of success in their mind and I just haven't reached it yet is all. So I think it's luck is to me when preparation meets opportunity. Hello and welcome to Metamy, where we speak with industry pros and ask them three to five questions about exactly what it is they do. Today, we're speaking with Lindsay Campbell about being in the director's chair. Maybe you can just start off by telling us a little bit about yourself for those who don't know who you are. I started off as an actress. Let's just start there. When I was 16, 17, I moved to New York City, uh, attended the New York Conservatory for Dramatic Arts. And then I started auditioning for films after I got out. I ended up booking this commercial. All I saw was my reflection with the Manhattan city skyline behind me as an actress in the, in the lens. At that moment, I was just like, wow, there's just so much more to this than acting. And I wanted to get to know more. So I just started writing my own little flicks and somehow convinced some people to help me make them. Claire, I've got to call you back. Oh God, is everything okay? You Sounds like you're about to have a heart attack. I am never, I repeat, never going to do a Brazilian again. You had an affair with your 12 year old medical assistant. 28. Divorced me, married her, and somehow ended up with my house. Yeah, I'm sorry about how everything turned out. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about the importance of narrative in advertising. You see a lot of it today. It's just a still image, a still image, a graphic, and uh, you know some uh, typography, and you're out. Like you know, it's very just kind of corporate-y, plain Jane. There's not a lot of like heart into it, um, but there are some of those special commercials, which is kind of what I try to do is just have like a short little film, a short little narrative in 30 seconds, and try to touch people on an emotional level and tie that to a product. Because when you tie, you know, a product, a thought to an emotion, it tends to, I think, stick around with you a little bit more. Tell us a little bit about what challenges you face uh, being a female actress as well as being a female business owner or a female filmmaker in this industry. On one side, it, it's a lot. But on the other side, I think it's your mind frame going into it. I'm not going to let me being a female. I'm not going to let it dictate my career. I mean, to be a little honest, I'm just kind of tired of all the labels. Why can't I just be Lindsay? As an actress, I think it's been a little more difficult, just not really being satisfied with the roles I had been going out for. I never really felt they were me. Uh, you know, like I'm a farm girl. I know how to weld, I build things. And I just didn't really see a lot of those roles that I felt represented me or represented women in general. You know, I, I auditioned in New York City for big boobed bimbo. Why am I auditioning for this part? And why are you labeling a character this name? It was ridiculous. But now, okay, so that was what? 2009, 2010, now we're at 2021. It's changed so much. It's, I've just watched it change. One more question for you, and it's not really a question. I just want to give you the opportunity to um, have you tell people what's going on in your life, what what work you're doing right now, um, and you know maybe promote some of your short films. <laughs> I'm about to launch the divorce short film on YouTube. We're gonna have its little premiere and just you know see how many views we can generate. That's great. Um, and if people want to work with you, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, so if you type in Lindsay Campbell, L-I-N-D-S-Y without an A or E, Campbell, you should see a familiar face, but probably not familiar hair. So beware of that. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Metamy. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, consider subscribing or liking or sharing or commenting or reaching out at the links below or I don't know. There's so many things. There's so many things. 
regardless, uh, just watch the next episode. We love making these. <laughs>